On 11th of April, the Deputy Commander of the People's Militia of the DPR, Colonel Edward Basurin, stated on air of the Russian TV channel Channel 1 that the Azov Regiment, terrorist organization and some other Ukrainian forces are holding their positions in the underground part of the Azov Stahl factory in the city of Mariupol. It is planned to clean up the underground part of the factory with a help from the Russian chemical troops. Edward Basurin added that for this task all the available exits from the underground sections of the factory are being scouted. The head of the DPR, Denis Poshilin, stated that the DPR forces have captured the port of Mariupol. The Department of Information and Mass Communications of the Russian Ministry of Defense reported that the Russian Motorized Rifle Division from the Western Russian Military District had a battle with the Ukrainian forces near the village of Topolskoye in the Izum district of the Kharkov region. As part of the offensive military operation in the Kharkov region, the Russian forces continue to carry out the transfer of forces and make movements. During the special military operation in Ukraine, a Russian tank company from the Western Military District had a battle with the enemies near the village of Topolska from the Izum district in the Kharkov region. The ministry stated, During the battle, the tank company used natural shelters and terrain folds after firing at the enemy tanks and armored vehicles. The work of the tank company was supported by groups of motorized rifle units on BMP-2s and BTR-82As. They used anti-tank grenade launchers and flamethrowers. The ministry added. Cruise missile Skalibur, launched from a Russian warship, destroyed the division of the S-300 anti-aircraft missile system located near the city of Dnepropetrovsk. Those S-300s were sent by the Slovak government as part of military aid to Ukraine. Hidden in hangars at the south of the city of Dnepropetrovsk, the military vehicles of the S-300 anti-aircraft missile division given to Ukraine by one of the European countries were destroyed by high-precision sea-based cruise missiles caliber. Four S-400 launchers and up to 25 Ukrainian servicemen were destroyed, Igor Konashenkov reported. To the south from Dnepropetrovsk, near the village of Chapli, a regiment of the Ukrainian Air Defense Forces is deployed, which previously operated as 300 anti-aircraft missile systems. The Slovak anti-aircraft missile system was intended for that regiment. The information about the supply of the S-300 anti-aircraft missile systems to Ukraine was officially confirmed by the Slovak authorities. On 11th of April, the Department of Information and Mass Communications of the Russian Ministry of Defense reported that the Russian forces cleared landmines and removed the ammo left by the Ukrainian forces in a kindergarten in one of the settlements of the Kherson region. Firing positions, trenches and dugouts were built around the perimeter of the kindergarten. The territory was surrounded by barbed wires. Training places for the demolition and other special training were organized in the area given by the found documents. The Russian ministry explained, at a request from the representatives of the administrations of the local settlements, every facility previously occupied by the Ukrainian forces is being checked by the Russian combat engineers for the presence of weapons, explosives, ammo and IEDs. The message concluded. The deputy head of the People's Militia of the DPR, Edward Basurin, reported about the non-stop shelling of Donetsk and other settlements by the Ukrainian forces. The cities of Donetsk, Yasinovate, Gorlovka are under fire. Today, one person was killed, one wounded person's leg was cut off. In the village of Staromikhailovka, to the west from Donetsk, a woman was killed yesterday. Children are being injured as well. There is a large amount of destruction. The shelling of the residents residential areas and settlements doesn't stop. It is a war for the survival." End of quote. The DPR authorities have repeatedly stated that the civilian infrastructure and residential areas are being shelled by the Ukrainian forces. On 11th of April, the DPR office at the Joint Center for the Control and Coordination of the Ceasefire reported that the Ukrainian forces had shelled the territory of the DPR for a 1,825 times since the start of the escalation of the conflict in Donbass. 75 civilians were killed, the TESS reported. 
The Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov stated that Russia sees no reason why Russia can continue the negotiations with Ukraine. I see no reason why we can't continue the negotiations, even though Ukraine is being slippery all the time and sometimes Ukraine completely rejects what Ukraine proposed recently. We are patient and persistent people, Sergei Lavrov said during an interview to the Russia 24 TV channel. Constance and rest of special for the Anna News. Thank <laughs> you.